All right, I'm trying to unbrick this bricked DJI One Inspire drone battery. I found these instructions I found on the droneenthusiast.com forward slash revive dash brick dash DJI dash battery. And I'm coming up on five minutes here. And I wasn't clear it said to once voltmeter reaches uh, about 20 volts to reconnect the charger, but it's at five minute intervals, so I'm not sure if I'm supposed to unplug it now that it's been in five minutes. This is five minute intervals, so I guess I'm going to try unplugging it. I've climbed from like less than one volt when I first plugged it in, and now after about six minutes I'm up to 11 volts, so I'm not sure why it says five minute intervals, but I'm going to pause my camera here, and I guess you can watch if you want. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it. and. Let it sit for a little bit. Uh, some things I'll forewarn you about if you do this when you plug your hook your uh, alligator clips to your charger. I did it with the, the charger plugged in and it let off one heck of a spark. So you're talking an output potentially on the charger. Yeah, let's see if you can see that here. Let's see the output. It can be up to 26.3 volt, 3.83 amps. So that's a lot of voltage. So I recommend, from my experience here, leave your charger unplugged down at the outlet below, and then get all your wiring connected. And your last step would be to plug your charger in down at the cord, so your any sparking is long far away from the battery as possible and far away from your fingers so I picked up some alligator clips you have to use four of them from uh, Harbor Freight for four dollars like 395 18 inch low voltage multicolored test leads it says it can handle up to 300 volts I can read that with my flash on up to 300 volts 18 gauge wire but it says maximum amps is 1.6 amps so the output on this charger is up to 3.8 amps so that would concern me a little but I didn't have any other alligator clips and it's the middle of the night so I'm making do with it and I keep checking the temperature and so far they haven't warmed up at all so there was a slight odor coming out of the battery very slight electrical odor Nothing major. So this battery was purchased with the drone brand new in March of 2015, May of 2015. It was flown one time and stuck in the closet and it sat there for at least a year and a half. So it's now August of 2016. So at least a year it sat in the closet and it was down to nothing. The battery wouldn't click on, wouldn't light up, the charger did nothing for it. And I was really bummed out that we might have to buy another $200 battery. So I looked online and found these instructions on how to unbrick it. So, But I could not find a single video on YouTube on how to do this, which really bummed me out because it had been nice to have that visual. So I made this video. So while I'm giving it a little break in the charging, what I did um, is you take the cover off. There's plenty of videos on that. I use a butter knife. I didn't have a problem. I was very gentle, worked my way around, but the cut up credit card method looks like it would be better. It's more gentle and you slide them under. There is a, uh, everywhere you see those holes, there's tabs. Here, here, it's basically on the cover, you're going to have tabs here tabs here and then at the ends where those holes are there's tabs on both sides and then same side tabs on the other side so there's one two three four five six sets of tabs so they show cutting up a credit card gently sliding them under each tab to separate it out and lifting the cover off the more time consuming but probably a better chance of not breaking your cover or scratching anything 
I was just very gentle with a butter knife and just kept working under each side and the sides and just lifting with my fingers. It took about five, six minutes of working it gently. You can't rush it and you just have to keep gently prying and lifting, prying and lifting. So then once you get it off, it talks about unplugging the battery loom. I'll include the link, hopefully I can, to this DroneEnthusiast.com and um, they say to let's see how they say it um, just gently disconnect the balancing plug slash loom to the IC I have no idea what an IC is but I assume it's the computer board inside there and so this I'm assuming is the loom it's the only thing I could find to unplug and I just took a while of working it with my fingers on both sides and gently pulling on the cord and I pushed really hard on these little tabs with both fingers pushing from the back side. Maybe. You gotta be careful with a metal screwdriver. Better with a piece of with something, a plastic pick. Push it off. You don't want to end up gouging one of your wires. But I just pulled with my fingernails really hard and then kind of wiggled and then pulled with my fingernails and wiggled. And finally, just came loose surprisingly when I pulled just real gently. And then I put my voltmeter on 20 volts DC. If you can see that, my voltmeter's on 20 volts DC, and then I ran a white wire from the negative on the voltmeter to this negative terminal on the battery, and it was hard because there wasn't really any bare wire, so I just clamped it onto the charging, or you know, the solder there, and then a negative another wire I clamped onto that to the negative on the charger which they show in the picture is the right one and it's facing up like that with the wire out and then I did the same thing with the positive one wire to the positive on my voltmeter one wire to the positive terminal on the charger and plugged it in and praise the lord it is charging it's a miracle so here we go, it's probably been about five minutes. I'm going to plug it back in. My outlet for another five minutes. And see. So I'm counting back up again. And it says to do this till you get to above 20 volts. Um, so you're bypassing the smart circuit, and the smart circuit basically is telling the charger there's no battery here, or the battery's not good, and there's no need to charge it. So battery will not output to the the charger will not output to the battery so you're bypassing that smart charger which isn't very smart obviously you have to be smarter than it to get some voltage to go in I mean it's a brand new battery used one time and it won't work so it says apply power for five minutes interval while monitoring the voltmeter once the voltmeter reaches above 20 volts you can reconnect the balancing plug and recharge the battery per as normal. If it still doesn't charge as normal, you will need to do a reset to the smart circuit as shown here, and there's a link. Fully charge your battery and do two full cycles at low hover level. Condition your battery and you are good to go. This will revive all batteries bricked by LVC. Provided the cells haven't been completely damaged due to excessive self-discharge. Enjoy and safe flying. So there you go. And there's the diagram they gave of how to hook up the wires. A little cluttered there, but it's minus two. You just want to make sure you don't cross any wires. Don't let anything reconnect. And I wouldn't leave it. I'm just staying close by. Checking nothing's getting warm or hot. My leads aren't getting warm. Just double checking those. Everything's good. So I'm up to 11 volts now. So I'm going to go check my timer and see how I'm doing. I wish this charger would have a light on it. It doesn't provide any kind of light to tell you that it's working. Which is kind of chintzy to me. So hopefully in later models they'll put a light on it so you know you have voltage coming out. And I guess I'll try.
try to post another video or leave a comment and let you know what happens when I reach 20 volts, how many intervals I had to do this in.